I'm Oele Nawazi, I'm a Hoosier, and this is my story. My high school coaches, who was like really close to my brothers and sisters, suggested that I played club volleyball. So I started doing that. And then it came time that I had to make a decision between volleyball and basketball, so I chose volleyball. And I don't know, it was kind of hard getting started um, so late, because I was 15 a lot of the girls played since they were like six. Um, so, I mean, it was rough in the beginning, and a lot of people had to like take chances on me, but I was like able to learn pretty quickly. And then coming onto a team where everyone else is like more experienced, it was like it was more hard from like the parent side of things, because I was naturally like a hard worker and I'm really athletic, and. Um, so it wasn't, it wasn't too difficult to pick up on certain things. There's a lot of, a lot of volleyball IQ stuff that I didn't know yet. Or like just simple things like serving stuff that I wasn't good at. And it was more like the parents were mad because I was playing over a lot of their kids who had been playing since they were six. So it was really difficult to begin with because everyone had their own opinion of me and what they felt like I should be doing or where I should be. So I feel like that was the hardest part of it. I feel like my teammates were pretty willing to like help me out and let me know, like advise me on like what I should do to make sure that I get better and like the trainers to use and stuff. So I would say the most influential person when it comes to my career would be my mom. Um, only because with club volleyball, there's a lot of um, politics in it, and not to say that the people who didn't coach me before did, did, weren't trying to do their best, but everyone has their like, bias to a certain thing. So um, I feel like with her, because she lacked so much volleyball knowledge, it was a lot easier for her to look at it from an abstract point of view and advise me that way. Um, since I've come to Indiana, I feel like the best part of it has been the people. Because a lot of people are um, pretty warm, and I feel like a lot of the athletes are as dedicated to their sports as I am. So it's nice being able to have people who are on the same plane as you with the similar values. Um, to relax, I sleep. <laughs> I mean, that's. That's pretty much it. I'm a bio major and I'm pre-med, so I don't sleep most of the time. So that's pretty much what I do. Yeah, well, talk a little bit about being pre-med and stuff and like what you want to do career-wise. It's um, really interesting. Right now I'm deciding whether I want to continue and take the MCAT and go to med school or take the GRE and go to vet school. Um, I know that I'm really drawn to surgery and that's what I would like to do, but it's um, trying to find something that I'm going to be able to be passionate about in the long term. I would want people to know that everything's a battle. I feel like a lot of times people give you like the little messages like never give up or it's there's grass is greener on the other side, or you can push through this. And there's a lot of like little phrases that don't mean much, and that don't that don't show the gravity of everyone's everyday struggle. And it's going to be hard. It's always hard. But giving up or wallowing is only going to make it harder. And I feel like that's something that I've always I've always learned. Like regardless of what other people say, what you what you say and what how you feel is what matters most. So it's just a fight. <laughs>